Hello and welcome to Drone Tech Game. This update brought the drone editor, it's a preview available now, that means it's just a preview, but it's a fully working one, it shows you some uh, basic controls and stuff. I already checked it out, so you can actually build your own drone in here. You can't take it to battle yet, but that's why it's a preview, it just shows you the physics and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna load one of them I made in here real quick. Where was it? Um, it's this one. That's the one I made. The other, others are just uh, like templates and stuff. So this is what I made. Unfortunately, yeah, you can't uh, use it yet. And I have to say it has uh, really smart building options I never seen before. You might think that these are all different blocks, but actually they are not. The building blocks, I mean. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to build in here and show you what to expect. This is like, I don't even know how big that is. I think that's pretty big drone actually. And I think this is like the biggest you can build in here. The area in here where you can build. It's pretty cool. I'm going to just load a couple of others just to show you. Uh, I know this is a big one. This one is in the game already. You can play this drone. Yeah, this is pretty big drone. So the one I built, that's actually quite huge. I'm going to demonstrate on this one, the one I built, how to uh, put the blocks and stuff. It's uh, pretty basic, you can press number 1, 2 and 3 and 4 for different, you know, modes. But you can also select them from the top in here. Uh, the, what is this, pla planar mode or whatever it is. This is like uh, the base, you can just build only on the ground level. And direct is that uh, you put the block where you aim at. And the leading blocks is very simple, you just hold, uh, wait, I think I ac actually have to take the components out, yes. And you just uh, hold Alt key and click delete and that's it. And that's how you delete the stuff. And in here in the direct mode, this is what's very, very cool. I'm going to just delete some of these blocks and show you how to uh, make this kind of thing in here. For example, in most of the games that I've played, like Space Engineers, for example, it has very similar blocks and stuff. But the thing in here is, uh, whoops, what did I delete now? Okay, these ones. Uh, wait, something is like missing in here? Um, I think that, sh yeah, this is a little bit uh, the wrong place. <laughs> this is one of the bugs because last time I adjusted this, it was in a different place. See, that's how you have to adjust it, guys. There we go, now it's uh, in here. So you can adjust these and you can also do this. Uh, where does it go? No, uh, Z axis, I think. No, I don't know where it goes. Yeah, there you go. That's the set axis. And you can see, uh, adjust this where the axis is exactly. I think that went a little bit off. See? So you can put the middle point. I think this should be a little bit better because with mouse, it's very difficult to adjust it. So it should have like steps or something like click, 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 that you can uh, step on. But anyway, it's really good that it has this. A lot of games don't have this kind of, you know, mode and it's very simple to select it. But anyway, let's show you how to make these edges. So, we first uh, click in here. You can't drag on this mode, but they said they will fix it, so. And then you put the block in here and if you want to make a slope in here, you click in here, you hold shift key, then you click this one. And then you click uh, shift again, move in the corner, press here, press here, and that's how you make a slope. Uh, it was a little bit wrong. We want the slope in here. So hold shift, extend the block. This is like one block. See, if I want to delete it, it's, uh, see, this one is one block. So what we do with this is click here, click here, and that's how you get the slope. And same with these kind of blocks. It's actually a really cool method. I've never seen this before. So if you want to smooth this out, all we do is hold control down and just go over it and it smooths it out. You can click like twice to, uh, make it, you know, different. Uh, this block, I'm not sure what's going on here. You can also use a uh, shift key to um, change the corners, see, specifically. Like if you want to change a specific corner, like so, see, you can do that. So if you don't like it, hold shift, go into a corner which you want to modify and you can cut the corner off. I think this is absolutely amazing method, guys. So yeah, right now there's only one type of main block what to choose from. Then we have, what is this, utilities. Uh, I haven't even checked all of it. Main system, I don't know what that is. And if you hold control and mouse wheel, then it uh, chooses between them, the different modules and stuff. 
personally what I would like is that you have some kind of icons that where you can choose from or at least see like a line of icons uh, which one you're choosing because right now it doesn't have any indications how many there are total uh, so anyway this is camera modules camera modules are necessary to uh, change your views on the drone where you can uh, check the, you know, the view and stuff like this is a camera in here you can put them anywhere you want really you can put like on top and stuff but different kind of cameras we have mm, some peak one yeah this is the cockpit one I think you can actually have two of them here yeah, you can uh, I don't know what the heck that is yeah you can rotate them everything the way you want uh, what is this 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 yeah I think that's all there is yeah see there is no indication what uh, which one it is in the line but okay uh, stabilizers I'll just go through all of these real quick uh, radars they are necessary so you can uh, you can detect the enemies and stuff I'm not exactly sure how they work but I think you need the radar on every side to detect the enemy on every different side and these antennas I think these are omnidirectional I'm not sure I'm telling I'm not sure yet but I think that's how it works so we have different uh, radars um, what's this inventory system this is like how many stuff you can pick up while you're in a battle like the missiles and stuff that you can pick up uh, what is what is this even um, temperature regulators I don't think we need these I have two actually these are pretty cool these scoops <laughs> yeah see you can uh, have different ones so these are like the you know what you call them uh, the blocks that do something these are different and what that is oh horn that's very important <laughs> beep beep uh, power generators then we have batteries they store the energy I think for the boost and stuff I'm not sure not sure about the modules but uh, there are a lot of options actually already so it's not bad at all then we have uh, hover pads I'm gonna zoom out a little bit in here I don't know how many there are. Uh, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> That's like a ventilator. Uh, this kind of hover pad. This, this is pretty cool one. That's like the generic drone one. Wait, which way did I go? Yeah, this is all there is right now. So we have wings. Uh, this is pretty big. Holy wow! Look at that man. This is really big wing. Smaller wings this kind of wings yeah there are not many components this is a weird wing at the moment but that's why it's preview uh, what is this gliders okay so you can uh, glide I guess these are also kind of wings I don't know that's a weird one I'm not sure but uh, heavy armor reliable and vertically aligned to allow drones to hover above the ground ah that's what it is yeah it's kind of like uh, hover pads mm. I think you guys should rename them because hover pads they kind of you know hover is what hovers around the, over the ground and gliders is like what glides through the air so I think this is little bit confusing I would say gliders I would see like you know engine less gliding if you you know glide from sky to ground that's what I would say but uh, these are the hover pads or whatever you call Hover engines, pretty cool actually. Let's see how many there are. Dun, dun, two of them only. Wheels, only one type of wheel right now. Uh, tracks, unfortunately, we don't have. We don't have legs either. See, it says legs. No, it's tracks, tracks, legs. Yeah, that should be legs. Uh, thrusters, you can make turbo boosts and stuff. Uh, pretty cool. Thrusters, only three or four. No, there's five actually, I think. I'm trying to keep it short, so. Uh, weapons, of course, we have miniguns, two types of miniguns, two types of shotguns. Uh, what is this? Lasers? There's three kinds of lasers. Plasters, that's what they are. Okay, plasters, that's fine. Uh, beam weapon, just one. Uh, what is that? Uh, thrower weapon that doesn't exist. Rocket launcher. Ooh, that's a big one. <laughs> Uh, grenade launchers okay that doesn't exist either it just takes it from the previous this is what I originally had on it these kind of cannons don't know what they even do I'm gonna delete them for now uh, what is this uh, targeting mm, not sure what this does 
enables compatible weapons and their projectors. Oh, lock on, I see. It's like lock on missiles and stuff. That's pretty cool. Then we have armor, armor panels. They're different as you can see. These are what I have in the corners. Smaller ones, uh, kind of angled ones, different angled ones, different kind of armor panels for different kind of things. It's pretty cool how you can adjust them in every angle, you know, and put them wherever you want. It's actually very easy to build, I have to say. And what is this? Shield. I don't know what this does. I mean, I can assume, but I don't know how it activates. If it's like uh, around your entire build or if it's just around a certain area, that I don't know. Uh, repair modules. Wait, 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 wait. That looks like cloak system for a cross out. <laughs> I don't know guys if that's intentional, but that looks exactly like the blue cloak module from Crossout. I swear it's like identical. Look at that guys. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, then we have countermeasures. That looks like a big stick. <laughs> Two of them. Uh, stealth module. It's a cloaking system. Only one of them. And that's all there is for now. We can also paint the blocks with uh, whatever paint you choose from in here. Da -da -da. Wait, what? That's not purple. Mm, it's a bit confusing, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's... what? It doesn't uh, correspond to the color I choose. Well, I'm not gonna pick on it much because it is a preview only. It's just supposed to give you an idea how the building is gonna work, like how smooth it is and stuff. I believe I found, a, yeah, I found a bug yesterday and see, uh, the bug is that these blocks cannot be painted in here. See these ones in middle in here. I'll take another color that uh, you can see. Yeah, see it doesn't in go in here. That's actually for the developers to see. These kind of blocks, it doesn't click onto it because the other blocks are uh, blocking it. If I will take the, you know, the edge of these blocks like uh, so. You know what I mean, if I won't uh, smooth them out, then these uh, blocks will be, you know, behind them, and that's why it doesn't click on. Uh, I think there should also be an option to paint uh, entire, you know, vehicle with one color. It's kind of difficult to paint all the parts, you know, separate. Uh, this is how the building works, this is what you have right now, and I'm gonna do one uh, spaceship build in here. I'm gonna try to build something, and I'll put it on time lapse for you guys, so you can see what I can come up with.
da da well guys this is the coolest thing i could come up with right now i had this kind of you know uh dreadnought build in my mind like you know the dreadnought uh battleship or whatever you call them the destroyer thing so that's uh what it's supposed to be uh kind of not enough weapons i would say it has these blasters uh, three huge cannons missile launchers uh, the only problem in here, the builder right now, the problem is that uh, I don't know how to get it off the ground as you saw. I first made this uh, planar mode and then I realized it's not high enough. So um, if you could add an option to uh, just raise the build off the ground, that would be incredibly useful. Or the direct mode that you can uh, drag and you know draw the line of blocks somewhere like in the planar mode, that would be cool. I made a small mistake in here there we go but well unfortunately I can't uh, test fly this but I think it's gonna be pretty cool I kind of wanted to make you know all around like these back hover pads I wanted to also put underneath but yeah it's too close to the ground so yeah and if you look at the size of this this small one in the middle is one meter so it's about three meters long Actually, for a drone, that's quite large. <laughs> drone dreadnought. <laughs> well, guys, this is it for the drone builder preview. This is how the building is going to work. I think it took me roughly about half an hour to build this without the time lapse. Maybe like 40 minutes. I don't know. I didn't really time it. Something like this. But... Uh, yeah guys I'm gonna be waiting until you can uh, battle with this I'm gonna save this one gonna call it um, dreadnought I think I uh, spelled it correctly so here it is guys uh, hopefully once the update is out that you can share the blueprints and stuff that's gonna be absolutely amazing and of course more amazing is when you can fight with your own built drone but that's it for now guys I will see you next time